Hello everyone, welcome back to our new episode of Meet Our Client. Today here we have with us Mr. Ayub, who is from Dubai and he recently got his work permit approval to Canada. And by the way, he's a very good chef by profession. So Ayub, a huge congratulations to you on getting a successful work permit approval. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, most welcome. So Ayub, you are in Dubai right now, right? And you know, a few days back, I was just having a conversation with my relatives who are also in Dubai. So they were saying that, you know, a few weeks ago, it was a huge rain there, right? Like a flood. True, is yeah, it true? Act yeah, actually, it was true, especially on the two cities, which is uh, Sharka and Ajman. It was, oh. it was really like yeah. I've never seen, I've been here for five years, I've never seen it training like that. Yeah, and uh, you know, they were also saying the same, like it was like a flood, not a rain. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, how's the weather there? Are you really enjoying it or not? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, is is one of the one of the things that uh, make me uh, move to Canada is uh, the weather here. It's uh, suffocating, actually. You know, it's super humid, especially when it comes to uh, June, July, August. It's just you have to stick home. You know, cannot really go out, walk on the street. That's something yeah, you cannot enjoy it. Yeah. So okay, so uh, like that's how you plan to move to Canada, or like is I there mean, any? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, it's one of the reasons, but not the biggest one. I mean, uh, biggest reason is just you know, uh, it's a certain age where you wanna really settle down, and uh, I just uh, figure out that. You is really, really beautiful country from any yeah, part. True. It's just not, not, not. It's just, it's just not the country that I want to settle in. I mean, I cannot really live for so long here. Yeah, five years I've been here, and it really seems like uh, a lot already. Yeah. So you know, as I can feel that you are all set to move to Canada, and you are very excited, right? So, like, what is the first thing that you want to do once you reach in Canada? Actually, one of the most things first I want to do there is to understand first the culture there, to meet new people, make new relations. And uh, one thing that might sound dumb, but which really I miss and they would, I would love to do from the first day is just, I really miss that feeling that, you know, you wear your jacket, you put your headphones, music on, and you just walk on the street with the, you know, yeah. the weather is so clo uh, so cold, it's not raining. I mean, I really just miss that feeling, which unfortunately cannot do here. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's one of the first things I would say we'll do. And, you know, there are a lot of travel destinations there as well, like, which you can explore, right? So I'm sure yeah, that you, uh, you will, yeah. And, you know, I'm sure that you will definitely enjoy working and living there. I mean, yeah, one of one of the most things also that I guess will, I would have there is like life balance, you know. You work and then you have life. After duty, you can go visit places which most I love to do uh, my day off for sure travel to the to see new places and uh, most known as Canada is lakes so mm -hmm. I would love to go visit in each of my offs one of them yeah, perfect uh, you know you as there are a lot of immigration consultants are there right how did you discover AMK and how was the whole Honestly, I heard about AMK in, two, two, I think, 2020 by one of my friends, but I was in another company, right? Then I contact Sammy, then we have a chit chat. But after that, actually, I was like, oh, it's, it's okay, just let it go. Because, uh, you know, you don't know someone and he's in another country and asking you to join. And uh, for the... 
you know, you need to transfer money. So I was, was like, oh, okay, okay. But after that, I moved to another company in uh, 2021 where I met uh, one of my colleagues. Uh, his name was Mohammed. And uh, I find out that he was in the process with AMK. Then, uh, yeah, then uh, curiosity, I just asked him, like, how did you just like trust like that? Then he said, no, 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 no. I know them. Many of my friends, they go through them. So I was like, oh, okay. Then it worth it to give it a try, right? Then he said, yeah, yeah. Then I, uh, con- he contacted actually Sammy again. So uh, I also contact him. I send my details. Then he sent me, uh, you know, the things that you need to collect, what the procedures, and uh, I mean, full explanation. And then after that, I start my process. I mean, uh, the process was smooth, actually, because the good thing, they make you aware from the first step, what do you need? Uh, which, which, I, which I really loved. If they won't come to the middle of the process and they will ask you for something that was not on the paper they give you from the beginning, right? Uh, which also make my life easy because I was aware ahead six months or seven months what I need. So I have prepared for the yeah for most of the documents, and they will. I would really say that uh, the process was extremely smooth, smoother than even I expected. And uh, all the guys actually was helpful from A to Z. I mean, sorry, I'm, I don't remember all the names, but I remember Alicia, yeah. uh, Miss Aby, and uh, Sammy, uh, Valeria also. And uh, yeah, uh, there is one more. But sorry, I forget the name. Uh, <laughs> no problem, no problem. We are really happy that finally you brought your work perfect to Canada and the, the entire AMP team meet your expectation, right? So, which is a very, 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 you know, heartwarming thing for us as well. So, you know, are you moving on? So, I'm, I was just uh, thinking like, like you just want to yeah. feel that, yeah, you just want to feel the atmosphere of Canada. You just want to walk in the streets of the Canada. So, like, what was your last vacation? Like, where did you go? Uh, my last vacation, my last vacation, actually, I went home. Because, you know, uh, once COVID came, it was locked down. So, I guess I didn't went home for two years. And uh, next week, next week, I'm flying, actually, to Baku for a okay. short vacation. Just, yeah, just a week. Planning to visit Baku because I checked there. The weather also is nice. Plus, it's not far away from uh, from UAE. Oh, uh, so, so yes. yeah. So you know. So how long have you been in Dubai? Uh, I came to UAE on two thousand seventeen September. Okay. Okay, and now yeah. in 2022, you will move to Canada. <laughs> yeah, right? that's, the, the, that's yeah. the next step for me. And you know, when I'm saying the word Canada, I can see the big smile on your face, <laughs> which makes me smile eventually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moving on. So actually, I'm already enjoying speaking with you. So let's just play a rapid fire round. Okay, and let's make sure. this interview quite cheerful, okay? So, okay, so let's begin this career of Canada rapid fire round with Mr. Ayo. So, like, what always make you laugh? Like, the one thing that make you laugh anytime, anywhere, no matter how the situation is? Uh, people reaction. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just yeah there is always a situation that you uh, makes you laugh right it just for me really it's just the the way how people react on the situation sometimes they get stressful sometimes mm. they get panic and that really gives me especially when you see that is not a situation it's just a normal situation but people react like big like it's a <laughs> huge issue yeah. so I I think that's one of the things that really make me, you know, just have that smile on my face. 
uh, I mean, there is a lot of things also that makes you smile. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. awesome. for no reason, just yeah. your just smile. Yeah. family, yeah, family members, if they are smiling, it's instantly you just smile and uh, you laugh, you don't feel, but you just find that there is a smile on your face, right? Awesome. How would you describe yourself in three words? Like the top three most quality you can say of yours? Uh, communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. I see that the most, the most thing that, I mean, as you say, for the teamwork from my side is communication. When you communicate, that yes. I guess that the most the most helpful thing and the most thing that can solve any issue is the communication. And the last two one, like I asked like a three words, like three words. Yeah. Firstly, communication. Three. Uh, communication, understanding the situation, mm -hmm. figure out, figure out the solution. Perfect. Perfect. I think these three words are like a, uh, solution of any of the problem that we can face in future. What's the most weirdest thing you have ever eaten? <laughs> Eat. Most weird. Uh, I mean, just once. Uh, no judgment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how they call it. Actually, I forget the name. I might not pronounce it properly. It just. I was in a Filipino party, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, everyone is smashed out, and then they bring this egg. I don't know how they call it, balut egg. or bal. Yeah, it's kind oh. of egg, but it's not really egg. I mean, if yeah. there is Filipino, they're gonna hear this. They will know what I'm talking about, <laughs> and then you just. <laughs> And then you just crack it, and mm -hmm. there is, it's not an egg inside, it's kind of not full, uh, not full grown uh, baby, you know, of the, of the chicken. Oh, is it? Yeah, so and I, I honestly, I didn't realize it, right? Oh. Then I just eat. Then they say, do you know what did you eat? I say, no, I, I absolutely have no idea, but do not tell me now. Tell me the next day, okay? <laughs> and the next day when I woke up, they say, oh, I this and that. Well, since, uh, since that day, I'm telling you, I never visit that, that, that room again or speak with those people. <laughs> Today. <laughs> okay. So what did you search last on Google? I'm watching a series, so uh, kind of I want to get spoiler. So I just uh, search how it gonna how it gonna end up the the series. Okay, and the last question would be on the scale of one to ten, how would you like to rate your cooking style or your culinary skills? Uh, the. I, I I don't know what to say about that one because because uh, it's hard for me to give uh, feedback about myself. Uh, okay, let's just uh, let's just be humble and say okay, five in the middle. Oh, why five? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, you you are already working in Dubai, right? And you are just yeah. ready to move to Canada. So I think you should give yourself ten on ten. <laughs> I mean, I, I would love to say that, you know, but it's just, I don't want to be cocky, as they say, right? <laughs> Being humble is good also. <laughs> True, yeah. Okay, so I really enjoyed playing this rapid fire round with you. And last but not least, I would like to ask, like, you know, there are lots of other people are there, like, who also want to migrate to Canada, right? So what advice yeah. or message would you like to give to them? I mean, I would say that it's really a great opportunity to move there. I mean, uh, especially if you check in, uh, I mean, social media and you read news about it. I mean, uh, for anyone who wants to settle down, uh, start a new life, I think is 
Canada is for me uh, comparing uh, most of people they say Europe Europe but for me comparing Europe to Canada is really huge difference from all the sites so I will just uh, how can I say it uh, I guess the best move if to is to move to Canada much opportunities the same language English uh i guess it's better 10 100 times to go well i mean as i say a lot of people choose the euro but from my side is not really the best uh, step because you go to europe you have to speak the, the language of the country which you are going right yes. that gives you more uh, that gives you more stress if you go if you are going to germany you need to speak uh, german language you go in italy you need to speak italian but Canada, you, you don't need to think about it because you already speak English and that's also the language they speak there. And, and uh, you know, I can yeah. say that it, mm -hmm. and you know the it, it has more... And you know the better lifestyle, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know the lifestyle and I'm sure, I'm also sure that it has thousand time opportunities than you can find in other places. Sure. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, uh... Thank you so much, Ayub, for coming here today and making and making this happen. Okay, and once again, a huge congratulations to you, and I would like to wish you lots of success for your future.